Hey friends, Allison Hillman here. I am the Allison and BTP by Allison, been there photography. This is another episode of Lady Boss Branding's 321 Blast, where I'm bringing you the best St. Louis has to offer in the way of small business. I have one of my favorite humans. He is the, I don't even know what word to use, but the the man in charge, the mortgage guru, he leads the most incredible team from First Integrity Mortgage, Dan Goldman. Dan the man, how are you, my friend? I am wonderful. Thank you for having me. It's so good to be oh, here with you. My pleasure. We had David True on here a few weeks ago. He's part of your awesome team. Yes. You have some rock stars over yes, at First Integrity Mortgage. Tell me a little bit about your team. You know, uh, the company's been around for almost 27 years now, and it's a family environment, very collaborative, very giving. It's all about charity. It's all about taking care of folks. It's all about getting them into their home. It's all about helping them take care of that home going forward as far as their biggest asset slash liability. Um, and it's it's pretty special. I mean, you've been to some of our events, uh, mm -hmm. you know, that we've had, and it's really about making a difference in people's lives and helping them. So I do have a really great team. You do support a lot of organizations. I know the Sergeant Man Foundation is one, Backstoppers, the Stop list goes on and on. Tell me a little bit about your events. You, you kind of break the mold a little bit on what you do. Well, and our thought was, why can't we do a networking event that's fun, that raises money you know, for, for a charity? as well as allows people to just come do some fun things. So, at, you know, we did a, a bags tournament, a cornhole tournament. We did a uh, karaoke, uh, you know, event. We did a big game night. So we had all these, you know, big games, you know, like a giant super Jenga. size. Yeah, giant Jenga, giant Connect Four. Um, and people came and stayed, um, you know, and we raised good money. I mean, to your point, we did for Backstoppers. We did for Sergeant Bam. Uh, the karaoke night, we were doing canned food drives because it was right before Thanksgiving. Our big game night, we were raising money for for uh, Team Jackson, you know, for uh, St. Baldrick. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to get people together and we, you know, we typically get 50, 60 people there. They come, they eat, they mm -hmm. drink, but they network, they talk to people, they socialize. It is not about mortgage and, hey, we're a mortgage company. It's just we're a company that wants to promote others and help others grow. And so seeing that type of collective group come in, and we typically do it once a quarter. Um, you know, unfortunately, our, 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 uh, this past quarter, you know, or I should say our last month, uh, and it was going to be this past Saturday night, was a trivia night that we do once a year for the, uh, the backstoppers. So we're, we have that tentatively uh you know rescheduled for september but it's great to be able to do those type of events and it's some that's one of my favorite things about first integrity mortgage so this is a weird time the housing market hasn't stopped doing its thing i right. talked to a couple of people and you guys are still just as busy because you can pivot to help with whether it's debt consolidation or whatever and use the value in your home so for those that are sitting at home now, they have this, you said, liability slash asset, and they've decided if they ever get quarantined again, it will not be in the home they have. So right. for those that maybe they would need to sell a home and find their next home, whatever, what advice would you give people right now as they prepare for that next step? You know, it's a great question. And to your point, the market has not slowed down, even though, you know, folks are, quote, stay at home, people are still buying homes, we're still getting contracts each and every day. And so we have had a shortage of inventory here in St. Louis. So if a property comes on the market, and it's a it's in decent shape, it's going very quickly. So we know that there's folks that are buying homes without seeing it, right? Their agents doing mm -hmm. a virtual tour, maybe from the house, you know, or they're getting in there, you know, very, uh, 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 you know, safely uh, to look at it and coming right back out again. So that has not slowed down. But to your point, if they don't want to be in that home, or maybe they, they have that home and there's not, you know, a new one available, uh, they could do a renovation loan. So they could turn that home that they've been stuck in and been looking at for the last five weeks and say, 
I wish my kitchen was this, or I wish my, my bedroom looked like that, or my bathroom like that. So they could transform that. Um, and we have programs and products for that. But more importantly, you know, just I would, if, if they want to look, especially when the stay at home is ordered, I'm sure that many homes will hit the market, especially before school starts, um, that people want to get pre-approved. They should want to make sure that they, you know, uh, talk to a lender, get pre-approved, have that letter so that they can go out there right away. And if they see something, make an offer. And Dan, I'm, I'm going to, you're an expert in this. How long have you been a mortgage yes. guy? 33 years. So, so you know a thing or two about this. I, so, I know a couple things. Yes. Yeah. So if you're looking for someone that has folks that are watching this, someone with the experience that has a team that just, it never ceases to amaze me that um, I can go to a different networking group and listen to someone talk. Like I just met Michelle Lewis um, about yes. a month ago and I knew she was in mortgage, but I, and then, I, Oh, of course she's with first integrity. Of course. <laughs> like it just, every time. It, oh, duh. It's one of Dan's people, of course. Right. So it just, you, you guys are literally the total package. And so I just, I admire you help the community. You've got the experience and then you have more products than anybody. We do. We absolutely do. And first and foremost, we actually are the highest rated mortgage company in town based on Google reviews. We have over 360 uh, five-star Google reviews. Now, right now, because of the, you know, the virus, Google isn't really staffed right now. So we know of reviews that have come in over the last month, month or so that haven't posted, but our customers just rave about us. But to your point, Allison, we have more products and programs than anybody. We have the standard programs, but because we've been around for so long, we've established relationships with others. So we have portfolio programs. We have, you know, some programs right now because of the market have gone on hold, but, but we still have more than others. And if there's a way to take care of somebody, we want to find it. I love it. I love it. Well, folks, as I always say, you've got to keep business personal. So you've got to find someone that matches your values, your personality, and all of that. So we found out about Dan the man on the first integrity side. Let's dive in a little bit deeper. Are you ready for the three, two, one blast question? I'm ready. Don't be sure. Scared. <laughs> all right. Let me get my timer up. Okay. Um, I, I try to keep it at three minutes. It never fails that you guys talk about something that I just want to hear more about. So, and it's my show. So I guess I can go longer if I want to. Yes, you can. <laughs> All right. What motivates you to work hard? Uh, honestly, just taking care, taking care of people, helping people. That's the most important thing to me, making a difference in their lives. This business is a puzzle. You got to put all the pieces together to find the right solution and make it look nice and perfect. Awesome. I know you're a family guy. Tell me about your family. Yes, I've been in September. We'll be married 30 years uh, to my wife, Jan, and I have three kids. Uh, my daughters are 25, 22, and my son is 17. That's awesome. What has been your favorite family vacation? Oh, my goodness. Uh, we uh, probably a year before last went on a cruise uh, on, for New Year's. And so to be out on the deck, at New Year's, at midnight, mm. with the family, with music, and everybody dancing. I thought it was awesome. That is cool. What was your first job? Oh, my gosh. First job was as a busboy at a restaurant. Oh, cool. All right. Um, do you have a motto, just something that you live by? <laughs> well, uh not necessarily. I mean, I did for many years and, and, you know, it's, it's, you know, it shit happens. So, um, uh, you know, and it does, it does. It's how we respond to that. It's how we, we recover from that. So, um, so yeah, I, I still fall back on that. If you had a warning label, what would yours say? Oh, handle with care. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What's your favorite drink? Uh, I would have to say a uh, sea breeze. Ooh, yeah. Okay. St. Louis lightning round. What's your favorite St. Louis zoo animal? Ooh, gosh. I love the lions. Mm, me too. What's your favorite touristy thing about St. Louis? Ted Drew's. Yummy. 
<laughs> All right. You have friends or family that come visit outside of town and they tell you, show us St. Louis. Where are you taking them? Uh, you know, I'll stick with the Ted Drews, but otherwise for dinner on the hill. Oh, perfect. All right. So Chicago or St. Louis style pizza? St. Louis style. Cool. All right, Dan, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Guys, this has been another episode of Lady Boss Branding's 321 Blast, where we're keeping business personal. Remember, every time a small business owner makes a sale, they do a little happy dance. So make sure you're shopping local and putting a little groove back into our world. Have a great day.